like totally a quickie. There seem to be a number of related fallacies and arguments among the hipster set that are worth noting, as we're constantly inundated with them in the most snobbish ways. Organic food is a perfect example, which we covered in a previous quickie. But they get on their high horse about insane profits made by evil organizations like Monsanto, when organic seed makers and growers profit just as much, if not more. It's an $80 billion a year industry worldwide. Or so-called superfoods. Here's what a superfood is. Someone found an obscure food, there weren't many producers, so they bought them up cheap and cornered the market. Then they started marketing them as superfoods, like kale. Kale certainly isn't bad for you, it's a green leafy vegetable and those are good. But it's not any more nutritious than spinach or romaine lettuce. And then there are acai berries. They're supposed to be this amazingly healthy food, but nutritionally, strawberries mop the floor with them. In fact, strawberries are much more nutritious than pretty much anything the hipsters call superfoods. So they'll spend three times as much for food and for clothing and many other things while moaning about how great the world would be if everyone just lived like they do. That's the funny thing about hipsters. Most of them tend to be Marxists, but if there's any better example of a petit bourgeois, I've never seen it. 